what is up guys and in today's video i will be giving my opening ideal and pitch for halloween ends if you enjoyed this video make sure you do smash the like button i would highly appreciate it if you did subscribe check out my previous video to understand the the full ideal of this video and why i'm making this video and why it makes sense and everything like that before i do jump into the video i really want to do a horror podcast so give me some names for a horror podcast in the comments below if you enjoy my content let's go ahead and get right into this video starting off with this so you know we are opening up we're not opening up automatically with the four-year time jump we are opening up in Russellville in the town over again check out the previous video to understand so we're opening on November 1st so it's still 2018 like I said this is before the time jump so it's November 1st it's like I don't know 12 1 2 a.m. and you can tell something's already off right we open up with the sheriff the mayor and the deputy maybe just some random guy I don't know right you know but they're talking and you get a quick ideal that this town is very small, smaller than Hattonfield, and just get a quick ideal that this town is smaller. It's almost outdated, you know. Um, and even show like some of the people's cars look like something you would see in the seventies or the eighties, and I think that would be a very unique feeling um, for this opening, just for this movie as a whole. And there's going to be a twist ideal that you can do in this, which I will get into here in a minute, but. Anyways, the sheriff, the mayor, and the deputy, and some random, like, townsperson is talking. And they've, you know, been alerted. There's already been about three killings already. And, again, you know, how is Michael Myers going to get to Russellville? Like I said in my previous video, one, he's Michael Myers, and two, he's supernatural, and three, he drives. So he can steal a car and go over to Russellville, the next town over. He's Michael Myers. He can do what he wants, right? He's the boogeyman. He's the shape. He's pure evil. But the mayor, she, like I said, they're all talking. And there's already been some killings, right? There's already been some killings. And somebody runs in, right? Somebody runs in screaming. It's happening. It's happening. And you get this really cool overhead shot of this, like, one neighborhood, right? So after this person, like, barges in, it's happening. It's happening. And... You know, you can tell right then as an audience member, this is something, you know, that they feared. They feared that the boogeyman, this shape, this pure evil, will creep into their town. And it has happened this night, November 1st. Not on Halloween, November 1st in Russellville. And soon she barges in, you cut to this really cool overhead shot. I don't know what's with me and um, overhead shots, but I like overhead shots. Now that you know, and I think they could be done very well, and I think here they could be done very well. So to show this overhead shot of like these few houses, you see some trees and leaves. Then out of nowhere, you see this person running and they fall, and you don't zoom in to Michael right away. It's like a like a very slow pan, and Michael just stabs them right in the road, and that's the first kill of the movie. And then he goes to the next house across the street. He goes to the next house. It will be almost like the scene in Halloween 2018. But much longer. Then after, you know, he's gone to about four to five houses, done his thing, right? And he goes over, cuts the power, and it's silent. You don't hear the music no more. You don't hear nothing. It's just dead silence for a good five, ten minutes. It's just dead silence. Then you slowly start to hear footsteps. You slowly start to hear his breathing. The music slowly starts to creep in. And that's when out of nowhere, Michael takes out the whole police department. He takes out the whole police department. I'm talking about the sheriff. The, that, he takes out the whole police department. And as an audience member, you're like, <laughs> you know, because now nobody's safe. Everything is on the table here. And that is my opening for Halloween ends, you know, very simple. You know, we know, you know, before you know, we get to the four-year time jump, it's November first, the next day, twelve one two a.m. You know, he kills a couple people in Russellville. You know, we get a quick idea of what Russellville is, but here is the twist. So, here is the twist of this scene. Okay, so we can have Michael kill the police department title card, 
roll in four years later or we could do this right so so you hear a lot of people talking about michael's new mask what is his mask going to look like is it going to be the same mask but is it going to be damaged is it going to have blood splatter on it what is it going to look like is it going to be melted to his face what is it going to look like is it going to be like rob zombies halloween 2 where it's like half missing like what is it going to be and one of those theories is what if it's just the classic white you know the the classic white mask right here's where my twist to this opening comes into you know you know comes into play so after he kills the whole police department he turns over now let me give some context here again russellville is a very small town there are very it's a very small town. They're almost outdated. You can tell about some of the cars, some of the technology that they have, right? Not only that, but this is a town that you can kind of maybe consider it kind of messed up. They actually kind of marketed um, off of Hattonfield, off of those terrible events of Hattonfield. They've marketed those events. They don't see it as wrong because... He only, you know, you know, to them, oh, he only killed, you know, a few, you know, just, you know, just a few people, you know, on that original night, you know, but, you know, um, to them is not really messed up, but to some, it will be, you know, to some of the town's folks will be kind of messed up while you selling that serial killer's merchandise over there while the next town over is getting slaughtered. Now this town is getting slaughtered, but back on topic after he kills the whole police department you can easily have michael walk out and across the street there is this costume shop and you know it, you know it's this costume shop and in the window guess what's in the window the white the classic white michael myers mask is in that window and you know he's going to go over there and pick it up but guess what? We don't know if he's going to pick it up because the title card cuts like soon as he walks out of the police department and sees those all those white masks. Right. That's when the title sequence comes on. That's when we get our four year time jump. So let me know in the comments. below well, how do you feel about this Halloween ends opening taking place in Russellville? And this is how he gets his new mask. Just a quick write-in of, you know, oh, he just turns his head, there's these masks, you know. Again, it's a whole different town, so they're going to have different beliefs on how they feel about the you know these events from Hattonfield. Um, so, yeah, let me know in the comments below, how do you feel about this opening? How do you feel about this video? Should I do more videos like this? And, like I said, comment below some names for for a horror podcast because i really want to you know i really want to do a horror podcast here on the channel but i want to come up with a very creative name so drop some names in the comments below if you enjoy the video please subscribe i highly appreciate that i catch you guys in the next video before i do go one more thing drop your theories for halloween ends below i want to hear everybody's theories for halloween ends you know if i get at least about five or ten comments of Halloween in series, I will put them all in one video and you could be in a video. So yeah. Catch you guys in the next video.